Thanks so much for tuning in to The Water Speaks to Me. I am your global water queen, Allie Nicole Waters. And I'm delighted to share with you the water wisdom update from the river of the water of life, brightest crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, according to Revelation 22, verse 1. And before I get started with sharing the Water Wisdom Update, I want to provide a disclaimer that everyone listening at this time, the wisdom that comes through may not apply. But normally at another time, someone listens to this in the future, they'll find that some of the wisdom is still very relevant to their situation. I find that these water wisdom updates, though they are monthly, a lot of the insights are very timeless. The living water continuously moving and active, just like the word, is timeless. And we can go to it at any time to draw exactly what we need for that particular moment or season of life. So this month's core focus is on working with the law of divine perfection. And there are actually seven things that you should know and focus on this month as it relates to working with the law of divine perfection. So before I get started sharing the seven things that came up as I was present with the river of the water of life, I just want to preface that working with the law of divine perfection, it's all about getting into the anatomy of divine dominion and spiritual individuality. And this is for creating divinely perfect conditions for you to live your best life in the present and fulfill your current and emerging purpose. So within this experience, you will find that even some of your contrast is a part of the perfection that's unfolding. And this happens in order to transform your current normal into a higher divine paradigm of success and livelihood. So just take a moment right now and take a deep breath. So I just want you to know that all will be well with you and for you as you leverage the seven areas that we are called to focus on this month. So as we are working with the law of divine perfection, I'm going to begin to share the seven things that you need to know and focus on this month. And the first thing that you should know and focus on this month is about collapsing the illusion of time and working with the power of now. So this is a time where you must begin to suspend the laws of time. And that can be hard to wrap your mind around. But as you begin to suspend the laws of time, you start to focus on the power of the present. Even in the tense of divine timing, which is something that's often talked about in the water wisdom updates, but divine timing begins to shift and even that term 
becomes illusionary in nature. And this happens in order to catapult you into the nowness of divine perfection for what should be occurring in this season of your life. So you might find that you're bringing forth certain blessings uh, or opportunities that have either been delayed or they seemed delayed. Things will start to feel retroactive or even as if you're redeeming time. So also what I'm getting right now is this will also accelerate uh, the momentum of some of the current things that you've been working on that would normally uh, take more time. So it's best to keep focusing on everything happening and manifesting now according to the law of divine perfection. Forgive me a moment, I'm feeling to be more present with this here. Okay, so actually you can affirm this month that everything is happening and manifesting now according to the law of divine perfection. So even now you be can begin to affirm that for yourself because now is all that there is. Hmm. And the second thing that you should know and focus on this month is about expressing a higher level of the divine will for your life. So your life is designed to really be a divine expression of God's power and love. I believe if there was ever a time for the true human potential to fully be tapped into and expressed, the, the time is certainly now. So expressing this high level of divine will, this means that you will begin to far exceed any of your previous uh, potential or results in such a profound way that when others witness this expression, they're going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's a higher form of God power working in and through your life. This is a new level of alignment that will be even mind blowing for you <laughs> to see God in action through you as you carry out new levels of your divine purpose. Hmm. I'm seeing if there's anything else around that. Okay. So the third thing that you should know and focus on this month is about deepening your soul's wisdom through an acceleration of evolutionary expansion. So I'm feeling that this month is going to be a time of deep reflection. Also leveling up your core values and even expanding your relationship with your soul of God. So you will have occurrences to come up as you reflect or as you're leveling up and they will invite you into this new connection with the divine aspects of yourself, which will help you to better examine your evolutionary journey. And as a result, you'll discover your new emerging purpose in the present. So this will accelerate and expand uh, your current and even your upcoming success. 
me be with this little four. Right, so you will begin to feel wiser than you've ever been and also start to accomplish things in less time because this uh, deepening will cause you to align more with the power of now. So it's going to be best to allow, especially this aspect, to, to anchor at a very deep level because it's going to be unlocking more of your soul's wisdom and aligning you with the higher aspect of how your soul connects to God as the soul of God for you to continue to expand and that your evolution will start to bear results in ways that you've been desiring for quite some time. But also, I'm also feeling that this is going to continue to far exceed anything that you've ever done before. No eyes have seen, no ears have heard is what is coming up right now. So just be prepared to see a part of you from this evolutionary expansion start to take place in an accelerated way of being that greater work and that greater demonstration. Yeah, I can see how this aspect would just be a byproduct of the second core focus. This type of deepening could only demonstrate more profoundness around this area. And the fourth thing that you should know and focus on this month is redefining and refining your purpose in the now. So during this month, you'll be re-examining what you believe your core purpose or life mission is in the present or what it should be in the present. And though you're already or will be living out significant aspects of your core purpose, you will also find that after your high level of divine alignment and soul's wisdom starts to anchor at a deeper level, your purpose will have expanded and, and evolved, of course. So redefining and refining is going to be vital and it's important that you pay close attention and become aware of what presently desires to shift and of course this is as it relates to carrying out your greater mission. So leveraging the power of now is going to reveal to you what parts of your purpose need uh, refining and to be well, redefined first and then refined. And by doing so, you're going to be able to better design your life's purpose anew. So that's all that I'm getting around that at this moment. And the fifth thing that you should know and focus on this month is doing what's right for you despite the social or religious norms. So the discovery of your divinely perfected outcomes is going to be dependent on your ability to step into your unique individuality and really begin to dismantle the institutionalized frameworks and mental constructs of social or religious formalities. The reason why this is happening or should be happening, you have to be very intentional about this, is because 
these old paradigms will be a hindrance to creating or even aligning with what's right for you in the now. So taking time out regularly this month to go within and be present to what life itself uh, wants to reveal to you about making the best uh, decisions and taking the next right steps for moving forward. Because by doing so, you will be fulfilling the law of divine perfection for yourself and not living based on the status quo or the traditional norms of what I'm getting right now, the traditional norms of a one-size-fits-all type of life. So it's important to really get into your own individuality, or I would say your spiritual individuality in doing what's right for you. And the sixth thing that you should know and focus on this month is about focusing on the new creation of you and your new world. So whether you realize it or not, you have changed in many ways and become a new version of yourself on so many levels. And because of this change, you have actually anchored uh, over time more potential to operate as a high level creator and a master potter of your life. So start to use this newness of who you are to start creating a new life and a better world for yourself. Um, this includes your family and even those you are here to make an impact on because Keep in mind, your new world becomes their new world and, and so much more. So keep focusing on the newness of who you are, really the newness of who you have become. And try to give no attention to the formal way of being. And also give limited attention to any contrast that you're experiencing or even noticing the things that haven't come into fruition. This is the time where you've got to make your best attempts to be really laser focused on what's emerging and look for opportunities to bring more of the new that you desire into your world as you are creating more of what you desire. Give me a moment. I just want to be more present with this. Okay, so that's that's feeling complete. So the seventh thing that you should know and focus on this month is about operating and functioning as the divine authority of your experience. So it's time to take divine dominion over your experience and operate as the chief authority of your life. And this is your new way of functioning in the law of divine perfection. So you might even find yourself acting as the commander in chief and commanding your reality to shift accordingly to what will serve your best intentions in the present. Now, also what I'm getting here is that you need to be light with this aspect yet be intentional. So you don't have to demand things, but command through the guidance of the spirit. And the more that you do this, it will start to feel like 
a natural part of your being. Just take a moment to just be still, to be present with what was just rendered. So I'm feeling the flow of acceleration with this, which would make sense based on the need to suspend the illusion of time. Really anchoring the now is going to be really, really critical, really, really vital for this month. This is a completely new level of functioning in a new human experience. So you can look to see your potential be reached in on levels like never before. So I feel a reiteration of what has already been shared coming through sort of as highlights for you to grasp the importance of what has been shared. So the river is rapid, <laughs> which normally the river of the water of life is a very calming stream. An operative state of flow. But I'm definitely feeling that there's a rapidness, high level acceleration, which means that we should not be delaying in really partnering with the now to fulfill the law of divine perfection. Everything in divine order. Again, all will be well with you and for you. And I'm feeling that this update is complete. So it's always my prayer that these River of Water of Life updates provide each person who listens with what's going to most serve them for the month. And I always encourage those who listen to really take time to go back and re-listen to the updates as many times as needed throughout the month. And particularly with this month being about the law of divine perfection and working with the law of divine perfection we have to treat this as the new governor or chief umpire of our experience this month. So may all things flow in divine alignment as you feel the perfection of it all and feel like perfection is a new permanent way of living. Things can only be perfect within the divine law. Outside of that, anything outside of that perfection is an illusion within itself. But we all find 
that divine perfection of what's most aligned and perfect for us as we stay connected in the stream. And I will catch you on the next wave of wisdom. Stay blessed.